these Balenciaga Crocs that I want so desperately. Um, the Balenciaga Hard Crocs have dropped. I think most of you have seen them, um, courtesy of ASAP Nast, obviously, wearing them recently. Not really a fan of the, the outfit. Maybe I'm a fan of the leather jacket, which is, I guess, better. No, it's Balenciaga from a couple seasons back, if I'm not mistaken, with the tassels and stuff on them. Really cool looking. It reminds me of like a. The good thing I like about Balenciaga, right, which I've always liked about them, though, even when he started at Vetmore, was the fact that a lot of the looks, a lot of the inspiration, a lot of the fits, a lot of the silhouettes reminded me of what I saw when I went to Berlin for the first time, especially the early, the, the, the first couple of years, maybe that was, what, 2014 or something, right, when it wasn't as bait as it was now, and you could go to vintage shops and pick up crazy stuff for cheap. I still regret, I remember buying this crazy ski jacket that was really warm and amazing shape on it, and I lost it, right, somewhere. I think I must have left it at flipping CC Foss or something like that, right? But, what I like about Demna and the looks he, he would he will do or the, the collections he put together at Vetemont de Blitzjerk was the fact that a lot of it was inspired by stuff I'd seen in vintage shops or thrift stores or people walking around the, around town and there's a lot of it was you know stuff that you could you could replicate the looks with like stuff that you have already in your wardrobe because you know cleverly especially at the beginning when lots lots of Volkova was there you know styling they just were a dream team and you can always kind of replicate the looks with your own wardrobe and I'll be like, oh shit, I, I've got that kind of trench jacket. I didn't know you wear it that way. And cool. So that's the great thing about it. So you can always find different things to fit it. But there are certain pieces that you just need to complete the look. And, you know, I'm a big fan of New York boots. I've been wearing mine daily for the longest time. I've got them over there. I don't want to pull them out. But, you know, I wear New York boots all the time. I'm always wearing big, stacky dog boots and whatnot and i just feel like these crocs are kind of an extension of the boots i already wear day to day they can be far lighter because they're crocs but they still have that kind of aggressive um you know um metal sort of look that i like when i'm kind of dressing up and going out and doing my thing around town and of course being somebody that owned a pair of triple s's and whatnot you know i'm a big fan of the, the aggressive soul chunky soul kind of approach kind of clunky unnecessarily so um shoe and i would really really want to get a pair of these really want to get a pair. obviously i would wear them maybe a way different to what asap nice is wearing them maybe with the same shades i've actually have coming in soon actually but the crocs themselves are absolutely banging um Place like a spring summer carpet, runway show, that be the duh. As seen on the feet of Elliot Page, the pair takes um the Crocs, hard Crocs silhouette and applies a grungy, elevated aesthetic designed by Demna. The result is a frankly unlike anything Crocs has ever pulled off by itself in collaboration before. A 100, 110 millimeter platform is complemented by the to what 10 millimeter arch creating a linear sorry creating a linear tower of crocs vibe while studs some of which Balenciaga branded adorn the sole unit i wonder if the studs are plastic or they're metal i wonder did he go plastic or metal i'm also interested it's also curious to me that in this article they specific they specifically mention demner's name in terms of designing them they don't usually do that a lot with um you know luxury brands footwear because it could be a whole host of people designing some stuff right because i always say um, Hedy Slimane should be credited for basically re-energizing or making basically Chelsea boots trendy again, right? Because of the uh, SLP wire boot. But you don't really see a lot of articles of people saying Hedy Slimane designed the wire boot. You don't really get me. They just say the SLP designed wire boot. So I wonder if this is like a purposeful thing that the PR at Balenciaga have done to say, hey, everything that comes out on that runway is touched under the Balenciaga moniker is touched by Demna's hand directly. Like he's responsible for everything that comes out on that look on that runway or he has a final say so or something because it's very peculiar to mention his name there. But um, I wonder if the detailing is actually metal. If it's plastic, I'm not really too sure. If it's metal, that would be absolutely cool. If it's not, I don't really give a shit, but I definitely want them. Definitely going to be my next purchase in terms of a next luxury brand shoe type thing. I was considering getting the the waterproof boots that kanye has been wearing so i'll probably end up still getting them um and still the bottega veneta puddle boots that i still haven't got a chance to purchase yet um so those are still on the list but in terms of the here and now in terms of fitting my vibe and what i want to wear these are definitely up in my alley definitely up in my alley so be on the lookout for me out and about in them streets would i go in a club in these probably i would yeah i would i'm thinking right now i would go in a club in these maybe with a pair of rick owen shorts or something you know um it would look pretty decent i think in that regard too or some slasher denim right they've got those denim pants that they got at the moment blinds yoga where 
they're slashed and they've got like a track pant underneath that might be actually a good look to wear something like this in or maybe just go completely formal and wear like a suit um you know uh, a really baggy suit with these on as well that might be a good look like a double breasted suit jacket big pants that might actually vibe with it. i don't really know I, there's some looks i've got in my head anyway that i'm gonna probably spec out and get on top of but yeah if you see me stomping around the streets in them talk to me nice talk to me nice